well, this is a little lake, popular little lake right alongside the Trans Canada Highway. It's called Lake Woodside. It's beautiful, except it's right alongside the Trans Canada Highway. Very popular little spot. Some nice rocky bluffs up there. Yeah, no painting today. Or not this morning, anyway. Out on the bikes with my friend, enjoying myself. So rather than painting today, I, uh, my riding friend and myself headed out on our motorbikes to a beautiful area. I didn't get much footage, um, as you've already seen, but it was a fantastic and exhausting day. But it was nice to come back to this and have a look. So. I'm not going to do much more on it tonight, but I think you'll remember I, I, I said that, oh, well, two trees and two trees and two trees. Well, I've changed the, you know, the number back here, the shapes a little bit, which I think is an improvement. Still have the two trees and the two trees. That's okay, but I think that we have to give a little more variety to that. You know, the rhythm of two and two is fine, but it becomes monotonous if it's not properly done. Last night I did the toilet paper trick on the left hand side. I withdrew the oil, I, I, I soaked up the oil and, and some of the excess pigment from this edge because I knew it was going to need to change. So coming home today, it's I'm looking at it and I think, you know, I was tempted to put another trunk in, but I think what I'd like to do is, 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 is a, something a little bit different. Um, what if we were just to put a young a young evergreen of some sort here and and just to block off. this little corner and help to again cradle the um, the focal area or area of interest however you'd like to term it I think that's going to work now obviously that's going to have to dry because I picked up some of the white behind there because that's still wet This will get some color on it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So that's, you know, one little pine, one small evergreen. And I thought also, we have this very, our window, you know, created by the window frame being these trunks, these trunks, and now this tree. So we have this window frame frame that seems very perfect. So what if we were to try to make it a little less perfect and indicate um, yeah, how about another one? Another little uh, another little evergreen. So you know, this will get this guy will get very lonely if we don't have, have somebody else in there helping out. So maybe maybe we should just have another young uh, you call it a small evergreen a sapling. 
you know this is beyond the sapling stage this is the, this is at the point where it's uh, it's it's got its roots and it needs to grow up it's very proud of itself that little tree you know okay so so far they're just shapes obviously but I think that's going to help I, I'm going to be able to cut into those shapes with with the background and I think that's going to work very well. Yeah, I think it will. Okay, back out camera. Still using my one-armed glasses here. Yeah, had a great day today. Just fantastic. Warm weather. Um, the fires that have been going on near us, ah, they're kind of reduced to spot fires. Uh, it's, I guess small, spo uh, small smoldering uh, piles. Uh, they must be confident that they won't uh, sort of ignite again or reignite and, and, and spread. Anyway, it was a good day on the bike. I'm exhausted, but I'm very happy to have had the day off from this in order to come back and make some what I feel very confident in will be good decisions to change it, you know? It's a simple little painting. And the simpler the painting, the better it has to be done, you know? It's just every brushstroke becomes more crucial. Good night. Unless I get nuts, I won't talk to you until next week. See you guys. Thanks for watching.